Thank you. 
Welcome far and wide, streaming here. First time I've ever done a concert streaming, so this is great. Well, as a director anyway, and in here, I guess. So uh, wherever you're listening from, welcome. Um, we're the NESU Jazz Lab Band, and that was a great little shuffle by Dennis de Blasio, um, Yamaha artist. He's a great, very sax player, flute player, played with Maynard for a while, and, uh, and has written just a great little chart. Uh, that featured a lot of people, um, uh, Colin Season, uh, Harry Hall, Gabe Hagerot, Mark Rolletter, Robert Bollock, and Sophie Strand on the drums. All right, great job, you guys. All right, nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. So we're going to move right ahead to our next song, which is, and you can um, get to the programs via a link. Uh, if you're streaming, you can get should be able to get to a program via the link, I believe. I, I should have looked somewhere. It should be on the bottom. I don't even quite know for sure. But anyway, uh, the next one is a Latin chart by Eric Morales and uh, Elianza. And this is going to feature who on this one? Oh, Robert Bollock on the trumpet.
right. That was marvelous. Um, that was the best you guys ever played that. That was marvelous. Great job. Good. Really tight. Good. All right. Um, so the next one we have um, Colin Season again is going to play, but we also have a guest vocalist. So let's welcome Sweet Eskender, please. A uh, quick word about this one. Um, it was, it's from like 1928. Many of, the, many of these jazz standards were um, uh, tunes that were in musicals, you know, that were on Broadway. And this show was um, Blackbirds of 1928 was the name of the musical. And it went on for uh, over 500 shows. And this was a very popular song in the time. And uh, it was re it's been recorded by, man, everybody. Uh, Louis Armstrong. Bing Crosby, Ella Fitzgerald, Judy Garland, June Christie, Billie Holiday, and even Diana Krall lately, um, to name, just to name a few of them, and then played by a bunch of instrumentalists as well. So it's um, definitely uh, has, uh, got its uh, tracks through uh, the 100 years, I guess, almost, that it's been going. So, uh, But Sweet is going to do a great version of um, I Can't Give You Anything But Love, arranged by Mark Taylor. Hello? Hello? Testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool, thank you. But love, baby, that's the only thing I play on. Baby, dreaming a while, scheming a while, you're sure to find happiness. And I guess all those things you've always pined for. Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell. Baby, until that lucky day you know darn well, well, baby, I can't give you anything but
right. Thanks, Sweet. And thanks, Colin, on the tenor there. All right. Marvelous job. And we're going to finish up with our last piece. We're going to go back to 1982 with Les Hooper's band. And um, so it's a little dated, but I think it's still, um, I don't know, it's still pretty cool. But it's a, it's a kind of a, a fun funk tune. And it definitely depicts the, uh, the music in it. You'll definitely hear the chickens in there. So listen for the chickens. Probably a buck, 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 <laughs> something like that, believe it or not. And it uh, works pretty good in here. So uh, this is going to feature Katie Lee and Rachel Olson, both on alto saxophone. And thank you for listening. And right when they're done, the jazz ensemble is going to be roaring right after us. So stay on for them, of course. Here we go with Chicken Yard Social.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the Jazz Lab, and stay tuned for the Jazz Ensemble in just two minutes.
Thank you. It's nice to be back here after a long sojourn. Uh, this is our first concert. Um, thanks to the Jazz Lab Band for opening for the NDSU Jazz Ensemble. How about that band? Some of them are in our audience. They are our audience, actually. Uh, that first tune was a, a tune written by John Clayton, who has a great big band. Actually, it was written by Jeff Hamilton, arranged by John Clayton for his band. Uh, it was entitled Max. That featured a, a number of different players. We heard from Byron Ward on the trumpet, from Adam Madrigal on tenor sax, and Mike Marmerstein back with us on piano here on Max. Next, we're gonna play a selection from uh, the Jimmy Heath Library. Jimmy Heath was a great tenor sax player. We just lost him, I think, in the past year, uh, maybe two years ago, but Jimmy Heath was a terrific player. He came to Fargo a few years ago, and I had the the honor of having dinner with him and hearing stories about him hanging out with Gene Ammons and John Coltrane and all, all the, the greats as well. Um, this is arranged by Mike Tamaro. This will feature, uh, this is called Gingerbread Boy and uh, he wrote this and Miles Davis recorded it and uh, 
Jimmy Heath called it his money tune because Miles Davis sold a lot of records with it, which meant he ended up getting a lot of royalties for this tune. You're going to hear from on the tenor sax sitting in with us this week, Anthony Verdoliak, who's subbing for Cameron Solberg, who's in quarantine, but we always have students coming and going in quarantine, but uh, Anthony will be playing tenor sax and also on, uh, who else is playing on this? Jonas Biles on the trumpet. This is Gingerbread Boy.
Gingerbread Boy. That also featured uh, Dan Porwell on the drums. You heard a lot from him on Max also. That was supposed to be a New Orleans street band kind of fading off, walking off into the distance. I'd like to introduce uh, different sections of the band so they know each other, but on, I'll introduce the saxophone section from your, let's see, from your left to your right, Adam Madrigal, Jared Fitterer, Nick Lero on lead alto, Anthony Verdoliak coming in, subbing for Cameron Solberg, and also on the baritone sax, McKenna Brown, the saxophone section. We're going to play a tune by the great Kenny Dorham, and uh, I think this is Dr. Brecky's favorite tune. Um, this is called Una Mas, which in Spanish, we know what that means, but one more, one more tune. Uh, this is a great arrangement by Michael Philip Mossman. You'll hear from Adam Madrigal again on tenor sax, and uh, Jonas, are you on this? Yeah, Jonas Biles again on the uh, on trumpet. This is Kenny Dorham's Una Mas.
on the trumpet, Adam on the tenor sax, Una Mas. I'd like to introduce our brass section also in the front. We're doing a little bit different setup than before. We've kind of do, done a modified Stan Kenton setup to get the whole band uh, socially distanced. So um, on the trombone section, we'll introduce the trombone section. You hear from Mackenzie Johnson on lead trombone, Kate Hicks on trombone also, and Everett Glower, Glower on the bass bone. That's our trombone section. Trombones have been around since the medieval times. So you guys haven't been here that long, though. So, And on trumpet, uh, I'll introduce the trumpet section. On lead trumpet, we have Byron Ward. And on the second, second trumpet, we have Isaac Homuth. On uh, third trumpet is Jonas Biles. And last but not least, Zach Carlson. On, that's our trumpet section there. And I'd also like to give a shout out for these lovely masks that uh, we have. Most of the students, we have gotten these through marching band and wind symphony, but I'd like to thank Tau Beta Sigma for helping to fund these masks. Who are, who's a member of Tau Beta Sigma? We got McKenna and Zach in here. This is a, an, a service music fraternity that we have at NDSU, and it's a nationwide fraternity. So we want to thank those folks for giving us these lovely masks. Hopefully we won't need them um, at later concerts this year, but we have them and they look pretty nice, I think, on, for us. Next, we're going to pay homage to a, uh, a great uh, big band from the 1940s, 1930s through the 40s, through the 50s, right up till today. The Count Basie Orchestra is a terrific uh, band that's been played for you know, up to 70 years now. And this is from one of their albums in the late uh, late 1950s. We're going to feature a number of people on this next tune, Switch in Time by Sammy Nesico, who is a great writer for this band. Also, this will feature Mike Marmerstein on piano, and uh, you'll hear from Isaac Homuth on the trumpet with the plunger, right? You have the plunger? He's got his plunger, so he's all set <laughs> for that. And also on alto sax, you're going to hear from Jared Fitterer. This is Sammy Nesico's switch in time. Thank you. 
Spacey Band was always so much fun to watch because of the drummer. When, so you can check it out on YouTube. But thanks, Dan, for playing drums on the Basie, in the Basie Band today, tonight. Um, last but not least, I'd like to introduce our rhythm section. And on piano, back with us from the math department, PhD student Mike Marmerstein. Uh, on the bass, he's switching over to electric, is Avery Johnson. And on auxiliary percussion and drum set is also our, our drummer, Connor Lane. And there's Dan back there, wave Dan, he's on auxiliary percussion. We're going to end our concert with a tune by Gordon Goodwin, great band out of LA. This is a little bit different funky tune. Um, it's Rippin' and Runnin'. This will feature Nick Lero on alto sax. Thanks for coming, you've been a great audience. I'd also like to thank uh, Dave Huber back there for doing the streaming online and the sound. And the jazz lab band scattered out socially distant in our, in our audience as well, as well as all, all of the folks at home. So uh, this is our last tune, Rippin' and Runnin'. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ripping and Running. That featured Nick Lero, but I forgot to mention our guitarist, Dylan Smith. I never forget the guitarist. So he had some funky riffs on that. Thank you for coming out tonight. We'll be back the Monday before Thanksgiving, November 23rd, is our next concert right here. So thanks so much for tuning in and coming out. We'll see you the Monday before Thanksgiving. <laughs>